Hi, this is Trevor. I'm here in Pocatello, Idaho, in our motel room. It is technically right now 12 o'clock midnight, so I can say this is the day of my surgically assisted rapid palatal expansion surgery, or some people refer to it as the SARPI. I already have my expanding appliance inserted. I'll see if you can get a view of it. It's hooked to two teeth on each side. I'll have the surgery tomorrow where they'll cut my jaw from cheekbone to cheekbone, straight down between my front teeth, and split my palate. And then this appliance, I'll turn it once or twice a day to expand the jaw. Uh, I need this because I'm wearing down my bottom four teeth. And also, my jaw, upper jaw is just much narrower than the bottom. I'll try to give you a, a view of that. You can see on my, it's my left side, starting with the tooth, just the side of my front tooth, it starts to go inside of my bottom teeth. It's what's called a crossbite. And toward the back, it even gets worse to where I'm a, more than a full tooth width inside. I don't know if you can see it quite. All the way back, that is supposed to be on the outside of those. And on this side, not quite as bad, about a half a tooth width in. Uh, 24 millimeters would be a full inch. They're going to try to get 21 out of me, so it'll be probably around 7 eighths of an inch, which, because they're splitting in between my front teeth, these will widen out to probably around where my eye teeth are. I'll have a close to a one inch gap between my front teeth. And then uh, hopefully around the end of August I'll get braces to start bringing things back together. Uh, as you can tell it is a little bit hard to talk already with this expansion appliance in. Some of the hardest sounds are the the E sounds, the long E, which I can't say because your tongue hits the roof of your mouth and mine isn't able to do that. Some of my fears coming into this are that I uh, am an elementary Spanish school teacher and I was worried about being able to speak clearly to them, but I found that it's actually, because I've had this appliance in for a few days now because of where I live, it's rural, and the orthodontist comes once a month to visit and he put it in. But I found that Spanish is almost easier than English because it's a very front of your tongue language and you use a lot of the quick tongue instead of the back of the tongue like English uses. So it hasn't been too much of a problem for the last few days that I taught school prior to this spring break for my surgery. I'm a little nervous. I have about nine hours, nine and a half hours till I have to be there. And we'll see how it goes. And I'll continue to update my progress, any changes, my thoughts, how I feel about it, if I think it's a good choice, things like that as, as the procedure goes on. And hopefully in four to six months from now, I'll be able to talk about getting this appliance out and then the braces, and then see how the ending result of that is. So this is a before of my teeth. Hopefully they can fix things like the different lengths of my teeth and get them straightened out through braces and this procedure. All right, hopefully before too long I'll have another video of how I'm recovering and how things are going for me. So that'll be it for now.